people think I'm damaged goods. I'm worried about losing my job. Will I ever get a transplant? I want to see my children graduate from college. How can I afford this? I don't want to be a burden. I'm afraid. I'm overwhelmed with information. Sometimes I wonder if I'll ever fall in love and get married. I just want to play with my friends. You're listening to Kidney Talk, streaming health, happiness, and hope to the renal community with your hosts, Lori Hartwell and Stephen Furst. Well, hey, Stephen. It's hey. great. I mean, it's, 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 it's such a beautiful be, day out. I know, and it's great to be back doing Kidney Talk again. I know. It's been busy for both of us, huh? Yeah, it's You've been, been traveling all over and producing films. And right, I so know. So tell us a little bit about what you've been up to. Well, I've been, I shot a movie in Bulgaria, which was interesting, and I'm going to do one in New Orleans now. Okay. And, uh, that'll be fun, too. The Bulgaria and New Orleans are very similar, you know. Are they really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Except different languages and different people and different country and different scenery and climate, but they're different very moves. close. Very <laughs> close. So they're like sister cities. Well, it's great. Well, today, you know, and I know you're not very tech savvy, but we're going to be talking about apps. Uh, well, let me get, I'm going to take notes, so let me get my stone tablet. <laughs> so. And, you know, because technology is so important nowadays, especially to me, because it makes you, everything's on your phone. And if you lose your phone, then you're in big trouble. But if you have your phone, you are so set. And long as you have power and your phone and your meds, you can live with everything. You can, you, you can, you don't need anything else. As a matter of fact, I know they have this phone now that ha- it's it doubles as a defibrillator. So if you have a heart attack, you just take your phone, <laughs> you put it to your chest, and you press the send button twice, <laughs> and it gives you an electrical shock. You can also tase other people. Oh, really? You can. It's a taser too. Taser it's amazing. And defibrillator at the same time. Oh, that's amazing. Well, today we're going to be talking to Glenn Ogle, who created this app called My Dialysis Works. So you know you can keep all all your labs, everything in one place. So when we get back, we're going to talk to Glenn. Driving a cab in a Big Apple could really get on your nerves with all the traffic, the noises, the rude drivers. Oh, watch where you're going, wise guy. Get some glasses. Oh, where was I? Oh, yeah, the root drivers. There's one thing I wish was a little louder or not so quiet. Secondary hyperparathyroidism. I know it's a big word, but you know what? It's a big problem. It's often referred to as a silent disease. I didn't even know what I had until I experienced weakness, achy bones, itchy skin, and sexual dysfunction. But you didn't hear that last one from me. Some people call it the bone disease because of the loss of too much phosphorus and calcium. But what you don't know, Mr. Smarty Pants, is that it also affects soft tissue like the heart, the lungs, the blood vessels, bada bing, bada boom, and that's about everything. So don't be a wise guy. Wise up and talk to your doctor about the big boy. Secondary hyperparathyroidism. Whoa, for crying out loud, do me a favor, Grandma. Get off the road and throw away your keys. Well, today, Stephen, we have Glenn Ogle with us, and he has a pretty incredible history as a patient, which he's going to share with us. But he also created an app for your iPhone or your your Droid, so we're going to learn all about it. Not another app, please. (laughs) Well, welcome to the show, Glenn. How's it going, Glenn? Wonderful. It's very nice here in Chicago. Oh, yeah? And and what do you normally do, Glenn? What, what's your normal line of work? My normal line of work is a B&W parts manager and mini parts manager for a Highline car dealer that's uh, in a very affluent area, and I've been here for 34 years. Wow, it has to be an affluent area if you're selling BMWs. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you have any samples you want to send to us, we'll take them. <laughs> well, of course. Or, or slightly dinged cars, we'll take those also. <laughs> I sell little models, too. Oh, models? And, and cars, but that's, if you want a car, that's what you're getting. Oh, I see. I see. So tell us about this app that you, you invented and you put on your phone to track blood pressure and other lab results. Tell us about that. I've been trying to uh, track my blood work and, and blood pressures for years. First, I started on a piece of paper. Then I tried to line it up and put lines you know, manually and then... Then Word came out in Excel, and I tried them on those, and uh, it just didn't seem to be consistent. I'd forget a blood test here or there, and uh, or I'd stop for a few months, and I'd say, oh, man, i got to go back and get these. Well, I got a little tired of that, and I figured the only way to do it is to get it on my phone to make it fun. 
Well, and you were on dialysis for uh, over nine years, and you're on your third transplant? Yes, uh, family history of uh, kidney problems, and uh, a few deaths early in the 20th century from it, but back then they called it Bright's disease, so they didn't categorize it. So it turns out that they had some negative uh, HLA antibodies that were hard to match up, and um, after one uh, eight months of dialysis my first time, the second time was two years, and then this last time was seven years, and now I've been out 10 years from my transplant. Oh, wow. Well, that's terrific. So, you know, Stephen doesn't know anything about apps. I'm pretty app savvy. I probably have way too many on my phone. So can you explain what an app is and explain to Stephen how he could benefit from downloading one? Sure. An app for this type of one, which is medical, this will keep all your vitals, blood work, um, it's actually a medical secretary on top of where it will keep your, your meds. Your a medical secretary? Yeah. Is she good looking? All in line. What? It's not a female. It's just an app. Oh, darn. You know, because they have that phone where the, the female talks to you. Um, Siri? I have Siri on here, but she won't uh, cooperate with me on this. No? No. Oh. So, so being a secretary for me on my medical side, it uh, contains all my meds, all my appointments, all my emergency contacts, I will dial right from that screen. I don't have to go to my contacts. And then my medical records, which on your history, they always ask you your history when you go in, when you have to fill out your health history. They always want to ask for your medications, and people bring in pieces of paper, or they don't know what they're on. And I'll tell you, showing doctors this, the medication part was the one that they were excited about the most because that's one of their biggest pet peeves is people don't remember what pills they're on. Um, and so forth. So to have this app is to actually track your health and complete health so you don't have to, uh, you know, in between doctor visits, you're able to tell the doctor what you've, uh, what you've done in between, what your blood uh, pressures are. So it's a very helpful tool for the doctor to see all the stats in between the visits because he doesn't see where, where you were the last two months when you weren't in his office. So it gives a good telltale sign of your health. And what do you do? Hand him the phone and he looks up the stuff or can you print it out or how does that work? No, you can email the blood work screen for blood work. On the um, blood pressure, they just list them in there. But with the iPhone, there's, there's the uh, home button and the turn on off button that you can hit at the same time and actually take a print screen of that screen, go into your camera roll. Oh my Lord, you know. you've lost me after go into your iPhone. You lost me after go into your iPhone. Okay. When you open I have a jitterbug. And you download an app. There'll be an app that uh, will have my logo on there. And you'll know which one it is by the two hands and the heart. Once you push on that, it's going to bring up a vital screen and a blood risk screen and a uh, record screen, which uh, is very easy, easy to read. Um, it's just, it just keeps everything you need to track your whole total health. Well, I'm, I'm tracking with you, Glenn, because I love technology. I absolutely, I downloaded it. And one of the things that is, is interesting is if I load my first lab work, like, you know, the ones that are most important to me, like hematocrit, uh, creatinine, uh, white count, you know, the different things that I'm interested in. You don't have to fill in all of the labs, right? No, you Just, certainly do. You don't have to do that. And if you have any uh, lab values that aren't on that screen, you can actually add as many as you want on there. So it's not limited to what's on the screen. You can add as many blood values as you want on there. So you, are you t are you pu putting in the information yourself? Is that what yes, you're doing? You're actually in entering your information yourself. So if you if you wanted your creatinine to be lower, you just make it lower. You just punch it in lower, right? Well, then you're lying to yourself. This is your health you're doing, and I don't think you want to do that. Oh, pst, I lie to myself all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen's in denial. What what is your creatinine, Stephen? It's I had it done yesterday. It's one point one. Oh wow! What's yours, Glenn? Mine is one point four right now. Oh, I win. I'm point eight. Yeah, well, I'm jealous. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I'm also a female. I'm a female, so your creatinine's always lower because you don't have as much much muscle mass as men. So for those of you listening, that um, you know. Your muscle mass is directly uh, related to your creatinine. So I don't know if that says for me. Maybe I need to go to the gym. Well, my wife's creatinine is always a little lower than mine. 
sense. So how is your wife? And did did she is she a kidney patient also, or was she, she your? Is. Oh, your. Did you did you marry her knowing that she was a kidney patient? We met on dialysis. You met on dialysis. Yes. Did you have a theme wedding like you both were? You know, on the machine at the time. We were off the machine. We had our kidneys by the time we got married. Oh, really? You so you met in the dialysis unit. How was that? You got needles in your arm. You're next to her. How do you ask her out with needles in your arm? Well, here's here's how it happened. I actually was sitting right next to her, and she was very frustrated because her her TV wasn't working. So I offered her my radio so she could at least listen to a radio and go to sleep. And um, I think that's what started everything off right there. So why? Did so you get Luther Vandross on your radio. <laughs> so the secret is it's something romantic. Yeah, the se- the secret is then you always carry a spare, you know, electronic toy or or radio or t- something. There you go. Bring an iPod. Bring an extra iPod. Did you offer her a free app? Well, I I certainly um, couldn't give her a free one. I could give a promo code, but she sure did download it because she tracks it just like I do, and she depends on this thing. This uh, she also has lupus. Yes, I know lupus. I have an uncle lupus. We don't talk to him, though. Her lupus has been uh, 37 years old. 37-year-old lupus. Wow. Wow, that's a long time to uh, to live with lupus. Yeah, it is a very long time. She's been through a lot of the um, uh, symptoms you go through. She's had several, several surgeries. She's on her second transplant, uh, half a pancreas, no spleen. Oh. And uh, got diabetes from the last transplant because her pancreas didn't hold up. So, um, and she's sort of like me. We're very active. Uh, I do play uh, softball still in the summer. Uh, I'm 52 years old, and I'm playing with guys 20 years younger than me. And in the last three years, I've pitched 360 innings in the men's softball league in our, our town. Wow. That's and pretty she, impressive. She works out four to five times a week. Really? Because she knows she has to. If she doesn't. She starts to feel a little bad. So, like, on a weekend when we're sitting around and she'll say, oh, I'm so tired. I'm not feeling very good. Oh, I better go work out. Wow, that's really? a great attitude. That is. I, 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 I say I, I don't feel very well. I better go eat a hamburger. <laughs> so, listen, so when, you, when you're pitching these innings, you're actually pitching the innings. You're not doing it on Connect or anything like that, right? No, no I'm actually out there pitching. I do oh, you actually go outside. Yeah. Uh, midsection area, which is very important, and about three or four other pads around my body, but uh, I, I need to do that just to protect myself, because uh, these young kids can really hit hard. So you're wearing a bunch of pads. You, you kind of look like the Michelin man pitching, right? Oh, yeah. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> no. Well, that's good. Now, um, listen, how do you find this app? How do I buy this app, and how much is the app? The app is three ninety nine. The best way to find it is, is, is to search Google, or Google. It's Google with one O. So it's Glen Ogle, G Ogle. And if you put that in there, it goes, uh, there's only three apps that will come up when you punch in Google, and it comes right up. So do you have other apps? No, I do not. I have a couple in mind that um, I'm looking to do later on, uh, but at this time I'm pretty much concentrated on this one since it directly affects me and my wife the most, where I'd sort of like to add some more stuff onto the app eventually as I go along here, some more screens I want to put on it, actually. Has this been profitable to you, I mean, or is this just a, a labor of love, or what is this? Well, you know what, it, it's more wanting to get it out there for the patients, because I know what I went through, and there was no information out there for me. There's nothing like this to track yourself. Sure, you can do it manually, but before, there was no iPhone, so it's made it much easier to do this, to, but, to, to track everything. Do you, you don't have to have an iPhone, per se, do you? Actually, right now, you need the iPhone. As oh. we go on, I'll be putting on an Android. Uh, my main goal really is not to make money, of course, I want to, but is to put the money back into it and actually get some better screens where I can uh, enhance the uh, app a lot better. I've got some ideas for uh, making a separate diabetic screen, a separate dialysis screen, and to put some medical markers in there and uh, put some alarms in, the, in it, too. So I've really got some big ideas for the app. It's just... Uh, just got to move it a little more, and eventually this will, will be a much better app than it is right now. Although, as it stands, it's a tremendous app for anybody that uh, has to see their doctor on a regular basis. So so you, you have to have the iPhone to get this app, and you... Right now you do, yes. And you happen to sell iPhones, uh, you know, for 20 bucks off the back of a truck where, <laughs> near Chicago? Is that is no, that there? No, it's BMWs. Oh, oh. 
But he also, on the side, he sells... Well, what about the iPad? The iPad, actually, um, it will go on the iPad also. In fact, um, on the iPad, you just turn it the uh, opposite way, and it, it shows it as a big screen, and it's it actually very easy to read. Right, there's an app store on the iPad. Yeah, you, look, you, you do know something about this subject. Well, I have an iPad, but I don't have an iPhone. Oh, so you could download this in I practice. could. I could. It'll be next to my American Idol app. <laughs> we can track all the diseases that the contestants have. Or the arrest records like they did yesterday. <laughs> well, so when I put in my labs for the last month, then when I uh, go see the doctor again, get my labs done again, does it give you a tracking or does it give you any type of screen of your progress or just like uh, lines them up for each date? Yes, what it does is you can see two um, of your blood tests at a time, and they're actually able to slide it left or right to show the rest of your blood tests. So, yeah, you compare them um, by sliding the screen back and forth, but you can see two, almost three of your blood tests. If you just slide over, you can almost see three of them. I want to make sure you saw your last one to compare it against. Yes. Uh, to make sure that, that you can compare them at least against your last blood test, but you can scroll it over to how many blood tests you've put in. Now, one, uh, one suggestion I would have you not add is the weight, because <laughs> that can be depressing. Yeah, I put that, actually, I've done some press releases, and I have actually put optional on there for people that are, are timid about their weight. So I put it, you don't have to actually put it in there, so you can leave it blank. And I, I have put that on some of my, uh, on some of my uh, articles and stuff, where you do not have to put it in there for those people who don't want to watch it. But... Uh, a lot of people with kidney problems and they're on dialysis, they really need to watch their weight. Uh, even some of the other diseases out there, your, your weight is very important. Yes, definitely. And, and especially with uh, when you're on dialysis, all the foods you can eat really are fattening. <laughs> yes. And, um, when you're in between treatments and you got that extra Monday, it's Monday, it's that extra day. It's nice to know where you're at weight wise. Well, that's wonderful. So, how have the healthcare professionals responded to this app? I have talked to several um, doctors. I've gone to hospitals, and um, I have not had any negative comments. I've had nothing but positive input on it. And the one thing they point out almost every time is the uh, meds. Uh, the meds is a big feature that, uh, you know, when the patient comes in, they, they don't know their meds. And they, I've heard doctors say, yeah, I'm on a, a small blue one or I'm on this, you know, or this color one. And um, it's just not acceptable. And then the doctor's got to do a lot more work. you got to write in your phone. You're able to just rattle it off. In fact, I was at the doctor last week. And it probably saved me a good 10, 15 minutes just in filling out the paperwork, having everything at my disposal. But, well, right now I use a, a program called My Med Schedule. It's just a, a Internet-based program. I think you can download an app, but it only does the meds. It doesn't do the labs. And, and through my hospital, I can look at a lot of things, too, my blood tests and stuff, but it just doesn't do the day-to-day -day blood pressure, um, things that you need to look at on a regular basis. Now, that's wonderful, especially when you just have a transplant. I mean, I mean, you have to take your blood pressure a couple times a day and take your temperature, so this would be really beneficial for people who just get transplanted. Oh, absolutely. And like I say, I, I want to get it out there because I know what I went through, and um, to have this at your side, to be able to do this, going to the doctor is stressful anyway, then they have to worry about remembering everything. Uh, certainly helps when you're in that situation. You know what I've done in the past is I just bring a, bring a big bag and I put all my meds in the bag and I just hand them over and let them write it. <laughs> you know, and well, you're probably not too far off of what some people do. Oh, absolutely. I don't even say the little blue pill. I just say here, here are all the bottles. You know, and, but now with this app, boy, I can hand them my iPhone and just hope the hell they give it back to me. <laughs> Yes, this is true. <laughs> there are, you know. I want to get the app is what you're saying. <laughs> well, you can get one of those little chains that, you know, like a keychain, and then put your iPhone on it so it only, you know, is two or three feet away from you, and then it, it snaps back if you're worried about them taking your iPhone. Yeah, that's true. Good day. Well, uh, Glenn, thank you so much. Uh, please tell us again how to get the app. You search Google on iTunes. In the power search. And Google is G O G yeah, G O G L E. It's not two O's. How unfortunate that the name is Google. Well I know that how many people can do that. So I'm hoping people try to go to Google and they do Google. 
Yeah. Well, and um, I actually just went to my app store on my iPhone and just typed in my blood work, and it came up. Okay, I had a problem with that. So good. Okay, that's good to know. I always prefer Google because it's the easiest way to get there. So. Okay. Well, great. Well, thank you, Glenn, so much. And this technology uh, sounds like it's really going to help us track our health and make us better prepared when we see the doctor. Thank you, and I appreciate it. Thank you very much for having me on here. And good luck with your health and good luck with your wife and everything. Well, thank you very much, Stephen. All right. All right. Take care. Take care now. Bye-bye. We can control our own destiny. We can take charge of our health and ask questions about our medical options. We can form partnerships with our health care team. We can take steps towards self-improvement. We can be sensitive to the impact of our disease on our family. We can sing, dance, laugh, and enjoy our lives. We can appreciate today and look forward to tomorrow. We can help and support our fellow patients. We can pursue our hopes and dreams. We can make a difference. 